Oh, hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's Tuesday night here in the UK, which means it is time for Launch Party, where we look back at some of the most fabulous launches uh, of recent days, but also uh, we have got brand new launches as well for you. It's a jam-packed show. I definitely urge you to head across to the website, hit the Shop the Show button, have a look at absolutely everything that is coming your way over the next couple of hours. Uh, I am not here on my own, of course not. She is back. It is the end of what has been a mammoth Debbie day today for Debbie. How are you doing, Debbie? Holding in there? Oh, just about. <laughs> By a little bit more, but I am excited about this one because I do love a good old launch party where we've got something actually that we're launching in launch party brand new today uh, which again i'm really really excited about uh, so i'm going to show you a few of the things that we've got covered because it's Ooh, not please sure. do i mean honestly joe if you saw the amount of things that we've got on the show tonight including can i tell you you need to stay tuned for some sneaky peeks of things that are coming up over the next few days and we're not talking one or two we're talking multiples so you do need to stay tuned and we'll five we'll, we'll, debbie five oh, sh oh, sh I'll five keep, i was keeping that bit quiet five previews <laughs> well we'll start with the gorgeous gift tags now i love a good old gift tag and i know joe is really excited about these the fabulous gift tags that you can add to your gift boxes um and they really are beautiful because they've got like a vellum overlay as well they really are beautiful i can't wait to show you these you're getting all the accessories and um, stamps and dies and those tags and that gorgeous um vellum as well so you've got those coming up um one of my personal favorites that we launched yesterday oh i adore these dies and judging by all the comments that we had yesterday you are too so these are the layering panel dies the delicate layering panel dies and again really really beautiful um we've got some fabulous slimline cuts and embossed folders on the show as well joe so nice. again some really beautiful ones we've got a little explorer kit that's uh, on the show um about your uh, embossing folders with stencils as well we've got some unky dory that are covering all sorts of different occasions so we've got the moonlit moments my personal favorite uh, the golden age of glamour I love that one um, and also um, the beautiful um, country scenes here with these gorgeous this is beautiful mirror magic cardstock again really gorgeous and we've even got some creative expressions so with the sample items these are absolutely stunning can you repeat that again for me please producer georgina vintage botanicals that's the proper name for them but look how gorgeous some of these samples are they really are beautiful and if you love your stains and your dyes and your stamps to be able to create your beautiful um, effects then tonight is really going to be the night for you Absolutely, it is loads coming up. Let's dive right in then and show you some of the collections that are coming your way over the next couple of hours. Uh, we mentioned that there, the, the Slimline Cut and Emboss Folder Collection. Six elements here, six awesome designs in there. A couple of floral ones for you. You've got some hearts in there and some lovely shapes and, of course, some schmetterlings as well. 4797 or 5424 if you are a Platinum member. Something we launched just yesterday here on Crafters TV is the Layering Delicate Panel Die Collection. Uh, four amazing dies. They are a really good size these they're like a creator card they create these amazing panels you get the nina card stock included as well for that price there now the designer boutique floral animal collection from creative expressions had a very busy launch with these earlier in the week and they are back for this show uh, some beautiful beautiful stamps in there for you 48 39 72 19 we also had the vintage botanicals collection as well stamps and dies here those dies add awesome texture to your products products projects even 79.83 or 117.23 if you want to get your hands on those and then from hunky dory you'll see more of this later in the show this is the buy the show collection and my oh my there is absolutely loads in there you've got duo pads you've got three full collections in there as well and a whole host of patterned adorable scoreboard can't wait to run you through that in more detail a little bit later in this show but first up we must start of course with something brand new and something that i door you know how i feel about a tag and we have got a collection for you that is going to make the most adorable tags now let me start by taking you through exactly what you're getting in here then so this first one is the magic 
of Christmas. Now what you're going to receive in here is you're going to get the die in here that's going to give you that tag shape and then you also get the stamps in here that you're going to be able to use in conjunction with it. You get all these gorgeous little embellishing dies here which allow you to make these super cute tags. Now you are going to also get 50 sheets of the white vellum and 50 sheets of the blue vellum in here which is perfectly sized for you to cut with your dies as well so that's the first one you've got uh, that then you're also going to receive in here as well the winter forest scene as you can see and they just make the most uh, adorable tags they really are something spectacular well, you've got trees in here your little stag you've also got uh, a sentiment in both of those as well so a really wonderful collection and the thing I love about the most they're really not going to break the bank are they 1797 or 2385 as platinum members that is 1438 or 1908 so exceptional value for money they're really affordable Lots of you saying hi already. Lynn Harvey saying hello. I can see Faye in Virginia. Uh, Barbara's in as well from Indiana. Carol's here too. Who else have we got? Alicia from Arkansas. Uh, and Becky, of course, saying hello from a very dark Oxford. She goes on to say, I hate it in the UK when the clock's change. It's definitely an adjustment, Debbie, isn't it? The clock's changing. It feels like it's dark for kind of like half the day at the moment out there. Any questions that you've got about absolutely anything in the show, you can get them into me. Or maybe you just want to come and have a chat and a gossip. You can do that. Crafters TV over on Facebook. Crafters Companion, if you are across on YouTube. But I tell you what, Wild Horses would not keep Debbie from these tags. She was desperate to start here. We just couldn't stop her. She's been going on about how much she loves them all <laughs> afternoon. They're brilliant, aren't they, Debbie? And also a fantastic price. A lovely, a lovely, everything about them lovely and a great um, set. The hardest part is choosing which one because I love them all, but I love both of them. I love the idea that we've brought these little mini vellum sheets to you as well in that gorgeous ice blue and that beautiful winter white. Um, and you're getting a lot. This is, this is, this is as well. Let me just show you. Let me take one out. Can you hear the quality? Yeah. The quality of that vellum is absolutely beautiful. 150 GSM. I know, it's a really good quality. And then you've got obviously your tags, which I'm going to choose the magic of Christmas. Um, I love this one. You've got a little bow on here. You've got your magic. You've got all your stamps. Uh, and you've got your lovely little stag. Let me turn him around so you can see him there. Well, the dancing deer, actually. The little prancer of the set. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and again, this is a really nice size. It's going to fit through things like your mini. So if, if you've got one of the smaller machines, this is going to absolutely be the one for you. Um, now, I've taken some of that vellum, and look, they've been perfectly sized. To, you're not having to cut anything down. You're not having to chop into it. You've simply got these. And if you think about these overlaid uh, vellum pieces, they're going to last you a long time. There is a lot of vellum, 50 pieces in each one. So that's 100 vellum sheets. Debbie's trying to think quickly on her feet where she put a where she put a mat because I couldn't remember I'm thinking what did I do with it put it somewhere really safe put it Debbie. somewhere safe yeah put it back in my bag no good in my bag is it it's no good in the bag but just run that through and again like I said if you have got the smaller of the machines then um, perfectly look at that wonderful smooth straight in we're going to cut again another layer i'm going to have oh i've got a bit of ice blue here let's um that'll going to match me uh, little um my little tag because i'm going to do more than one tag with this i'm going to multi-layer my tags up give it a little bit of extra dimension and i've got of course once you've done your tag you then add it to whatever it is you want to do you could make cards with it if you wanted to make mm. cards with it add it to gift boxes if you want to add it to gift boxes uh but i'm going to layer up um mm, shall i layer another yeah i think i'll have a little bit of white as well let's uh, let's chop into a bit of this white one let me snip that down grab my scissors but again just showing you how cute these are so i really do love these and i know you do joe because mm. um we all know Joe Rembrandt I love loves a tag. a tag. I don't know where my, how and where my love affair with tags started, you know, Debbie. Where did it start, Joe? I don't Do you not know. know. I just love them. I love, I love oh, tags. Oh, he has. He loves tags. Viewers have sent me loads of tags over the years. I've got some displayed at home on my little cabinet. I absolutely love them. I don't know what it is about them. And I've got three now pieces that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like a little multi-layer. Nice. Uh, but I am going to... Oh, I'm stuck on my dress again. Just hang on a minute. There we go. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of um, heat embossing on my vellum one, uh, a little bit of stamping on my white one, uh, and then I think we'll add some of the dies as well. So let's bring in some of those dies before I get to that stage. So I'm going to put my tag there. I've got my little um, 
little dancing deer. Do you know, especially if you've got like little pieces of cardstock, this is going to be right up your street. Um, and again, so easy to use, Joe. And if you have got a little mini, look how quick and easy this takes. And to be fair, I could have loaded a few things on that platform, three by six, when I think about it now. Could have saved myself a bit of time. Uh, but again, let's just take that out. Let's... Um, pop the extra pieces uh, out. Kathy says these tags are cute. Uh, Hadassah cute. says, oh boy, I sure love a tag too. Uh, Jane saying these look really cute. They are adorable. It'd be nice to make a whole suite of matching tags. Just, it's nothing nicer when you, all your presents that you're going to give at Christmas, Debbie, they're all under mm -hmm. the tree, right? Absolutely. They're all wrapped identically the same with the same ribbon. And then imagine having all of these lovely matching tags on them as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is going to look... Wunderbar, isn't it? Absolutely, it is, Joe. I love that. Wunderbar. Mm. That's a good one. Wunderbar. Right, so I, again, I'm just using, gosh, I need to chop my nails off then. Um, I got myself a little bit of silver mirror card. I'm going to pop down um, my stars on there, my word magic. Let's make sure I've got those and not to drop them and they slip and slide anywhere. Pop those through your machine again into your um, mini, if you've got a little mini. And if you haven't, um, did we have this? Do you know, it seems like a long time since yesterday, but I have a feeling we had these on... We did, it was well, our did we have a uh, mini on Monday the show yesterday? mega deal, wasn't it, with a free will bag. Be, will that still be... Yeah. So it lasts Thank 24 you, hours, that deal, so it might just still be there. But yes, you got paid for the mini, you got the bag for free, which was an awesome deal. Yeah, and these, these are going to fit through there perfectly. So I'm just going to get all my little embellishments out. So I've got a couple of little stars on there. Oh, uh, fantastic. Deal still there on the mini, which is awesome, if you want to go and grab that. Rose says, this mini and this tag set would be a great gift for a new crafter. I think that's a lovely idea. Yeah. Give them the mini along with the tags. Uh, because, I mean, really, what you're going to have to pop in some cardstock into here. You've got everything you need to start creating something uh, fabulous. Um, Anne says she really loves all the tiny little embellishing dies. That's what uh, I love. Come along with this. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. That's the bit of that I think I, lo I got a little bit tad excited about when I saw these dies. Because I thought, oh, my gosh, my bit box again is going to go into overdrive because um, this is this made for them these little embellishments you've got your little diddy bow there really cute little bow as well um, and again let's just run that through so I've got all my elements and apart from my stamps we'll, we'll get all the die cutting out of the way let's move that to one side because I think I think I'm happy with the amount of die cutting that I've done there I've got my bow my little tail there we go let's pop those bits to one side Joe and again, that's oh, 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 I forgot my little middle bit again. Do you know? I'm not gonna forget this time. Let's get that bit cut through. Just one more time, Joe. One more time. Just bear with me. Mm, bearing with you, Debbie. Bearing with you. You've got to take joy in the journey, Debbie, haven't you? You have indeed. And this is a really good journey to be on because to make your own tag as well, I just think is a really nice uh, little finishing touch to all your um, well. All your gift boxes and all those kind of things. I just think it's really good for that. There we go. So let's just make that through. And then that'll be all my die cutting elements. And then we'll do a bit of stamping as well. But I think what we'll do is we'll get us bow together first. Oops. Where have you put it, Debbie? Oh, there it is. Let me pop that to one side. Because I don't want to be losing them, Joe. Good to have like a little magnetic panel for these, I'd imagine, these die. Well, Debbie's I definitely one. would. I'm not going to lie. With them being small. And you know what I'm like? Oh, was that you? Uh, did I? Oh, excuse me. I've got Did you hear that at home? Fire. <laughs> 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 that was what we just heard there. <laughs> Being eckled again, Joe. Honestly. Oh, I didn't take my, mirror, my magic out of there. Let me just pop that there. So again, I've got my little word there. I've got my two little stars. I've got my three layers of my tag. I've got my little dancing deer there. Oh, yeah, dancing deer we're going to call in. My little bow. So I'm just going to bring and shape that in. So what we're going to do with the bow is give it a little shape like so and then I've used um, a double-sided Centura pearl for this one so that the inside will look as nice as the outside nice yep so and again I'm just going to drop a little bit of glue into there so let me bring in mm, 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 mm. there we go let's bring in a bit of glue so again just oh tape pen please work tonight not in the mood for things not working tape pen problems they're the bane of my life sometimes they are uh, usually it's the running out of them <laughs> that happens a lot in this place i can't imagine these telly nails uh, uh <laughs> no, make this I know. bit any easier no i know 
And you won't believe what launch but I've got tomorrow. <laughs> sorry? You won't believe what launch I've got tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be finding out shortly. We will do indeed. We will do indeed. But just, if you are using a wet glue, make sure it's nice and dry. The tape is quite an instant one. So I've got my little bow that I'm going to add. In fact, shall we add my little uh, round bit? Let me bring in my, um, let me bring in my tacky glue. And that's just going to sit around the centre of it. But I'm going to put the glue all the way around on there, like so. It's worth it though, Joe. I like this. No, this is I what I love so. about it. And I, again, it's one of those creative set of dies that you get creative with. So I'm going to pop me a um, little tag around there and I can be letting that dry while I'm waiting for, you know, while I, I, well, I can let it dry while I get on with some other stuff. So again, just wrap that around and you've got your little bow. So let that bit dry. We'll put that to one side to dry off and then I'll add my tail on afterwards. Fabulous. Uh, so I'll get that bit ready, Joe. Right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to do... Oh, I think we'll have to... I'm just crying out to be heat emboss this by the minute. Mm. Let me bring in my stamping platform. So, I've got my stamping platform. I've got my stamping mat. Um, stamps. Stamps, Debbie. You've put the set away and you haven't finished. So, bring back the stamps. I love this. That's cute. Beautiful. It? Like a, It's like a starburst. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and I'm going to use my clear um, watermark, like so, watermark, um, translucent clear, perfect for heat embossing. Um, and then I'm going to use some, um, I'm hoping this is me uh, embossing powder. I had to delve deep into my bag earlier. What, what else remember. might it be? Uh, glitter. Right. So we'll soon find out, Joe. We'll <laughs> soon find Don't out. Don't label I'm guessing. It's going to be one of those where we will find out live on air if Debbie um, has got it right. I noticed you didn't wrong. show us your ink pad there, Debbie. You were very careful to keep it covered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not seeing this one. <laughs> right. Actually, not too bad. That's oh, that's right. There we go. But just give that a good coverage with a sticky ink. Um, and then you're going to use this. Now, I always say when you are doing it onto a stamping platform, do it onto the cushion. Because when that cushion gives... The cushion gives the resist. Um, and it helps when you are pressing down in. But I'm going to pop my little... Um, yeah, I'm going to put that in the centre. I love these, Joe. I'm not going to lie. I love them. I think heat embossing on vellum is just so classy so as well, isn't it? So lovely. Yeah, it is. It really is. See, that's done that beautifully. Just grab yourself a scrap of paper, Joe. Just bear uh, with Susan it. says, I love the way the little mini nips through all those diddy little dies. It's such a time saver, isn't it? If you're doing small things, then it yeah. really does save you loads of time, that little mini. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm going to chuck some... Um, how are we feeling? We're thinking glitter or are we thinking embossing now powder? Now I'm looking at it, I think it could well be embossing powder. Okay. Um, however, Debbie's cushioned it too much. Look, <clears throat> my starburst has got a little ring around it. However, <laughs> I can get away with that because I've got a little brush here, Joe. So I'm going to get my little brush out. Whoops. Don't be pulling them all out, Debbie. And I'm just going to knock off the area where I don't want it to be. So you can see around the edge of my stamp, I have, um, I think this is embossing powder, you know. I think we'll soon find out. What will happen if you try and heat glitter? It won't. <laughs> it'll just, it'll just it be glitter set. still. Yeah, it won't set. Oh, ah, well, I mean, it looks fabulous. If it's just glitter, we'll just have to have it. It's glitter, <laughs> won't we? Not much we can do about it. Uh, exactly, exactly, Joe. There's not going to be a great deal I can do about it. Put a bit of stick, spray a bit of stick and stay over the top. We'll be good to go. There you go. We'll have to have, to have a glittery, uh, <laughs> acid. we'll have to have a glittery vellum. Be done with it. Exactly. So I'm just getting off all the excess areas and then we'll heat set that. Again, looking already fabulous. Uh, let me just put that back in there in case it isn't, or it is embossing powder. Don't want to be wasting any. Pop that to one side. Uh, and then, mm, before I start though, yeah, cover that back up. Don't trust myself. Uh, I'm going to grab hold of my heat tool and we're going to heat set that. Fabulous. Any questions you've got about this or anything else in the show, get them into me. Uh, or maybe you just want to have a gossip. Have we got any gossip we'd like to know tonight, Debbie? Any what? Any gossip that you want to know? Oh, I'm open to any, Joe. Oh, I'm open all to gossip. any. All the gossip, please. Uh, yeah, Crafts TV on Facebook, Crafts Companion on YouTube. Gosh, that goes quickly, doesn't it, on, that, the, on the vellum? On vellum, it really does. And you can see how beautiful you've got that lovely sparkle. So, phew, thank goodness it actually was a... Um, it was, it was a, a, an embossing powder. Right, the other stamp that I want to use is the two from and believe in, but I've got believe in the magic, so I'm going to go in with the um, believe in, and I'm going to pop it onto my white one so that this stands out a little bit. And of course, if you are sending it to somebody, it can be your, um, 
to and from and then again it's that little finishing touch joe it's all about them finishing touches and that's what i think this uh, this lovely gift set actually does now then i need a bit of ink 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 what also i just still can't get my head around the value on this that you can get all of that 100 sheets of the vellum and both of the die sets for what less than 18 pounds or 24 dollars which is amazing value if you just need a little, little treat debbie mm -hmm. just a little treat to yourself just to uh oh yeah you know just to get your creativity flowing then this could be that couldn't it yeah absolutely now i think i'll have it going down that side believe in excuse me a moment while i just stamp that so believe in um oh i've done it again debbie robinson a little bit too heavy handed. Don't know your own there. strength, Debbie. I know, I know. And I can't blame the coffee because I've got one at the side of me right now. <laughs> um, but yes, so let's put that in. And then I'm going to just put these together. So I'm going to link all of these together. Actually, before I do, let me bring in my word. What's happened to me, Porky Tool? Anyone? Oh, it's there. Anyone there seeing it? There we go. And then I'm just going to pop on a little bit of glue. I'm going to bring in my tacky glue again. Lots of fireworks going off tonight, Debbie. Do you know what I've about, heard a ton of fireworks while I've been in here prepping? I've heard tons. Um, I know. It's only the second like, of November. That's what I thought, because I thought bonfire night was just one day of the week, but it turns out it's, it's not. It's a Friday, isn't it? Is it Friday? Mmm. Well, I'll be down in Peterborough. Will you? Oh, I will. That's some great firework displays in Peterborough. They do indeed. I might have to go and participate in one. Yeah, get yourself the... a little Bailey's yeah, hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get your hat on and your scarf. Yeah, I've got my hat and my scarf. I've packed that away as well. Got all that packed away. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, bring back in. I've got all my tags together, haven't I? Yes, I have, yeah. Right, so let's bring in the base with the white one with the um, blue one and i'm just going to tie them together first i've got a little bit of twine again i love twine um just go and check the website out for the twine because oh, i love that your twine's even color matched as well debbie <laughs> of course got to be always color matched don't of course. You? always got to be color matched uh, and then i'm just going to tag that together so that's all ready now however I want to add those little finishing touches so i'm going to add in and i've cut myself another one out in silver because that's going to run through the center isn't that gorgeous absolutely beautiful i just love these joe they're so cute they really really are and i know that if you love making things yourself and those little finishing touches like i said uh, this is going to be right up your street so i'm going to have him on that one but then i'm going to put my brown one over the top if you are using um, tacky glue, you're going to have to let that just stick for a second or two. There we go. Of course, I think it's not... Um, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me bring in my good old favourite. There we go. Let's pop a little bit of that. 3D Kalal glue. And then over the top, I'm going to pop the brown one, but just drop shadow it slightly. Oh. Don't want to splatter it on there. So again, just pop oh, that fabulous. down like so and it gives it that little bit of a drop shadow effect and then I'm just going to finish off with oh where did my bow go i didn't put my bow, i didn't bring my bow back joe let me bring my bow yeah it's dried nicely now that um do you know what i'm not going to put me i'm not going to put my little tail on i'm going to just leave it as it is and i'm going to pop my bow just into that corner and then i've got a little star where can i put my stars Show a little star. Just adorable, aren't they? They are, yeah. In fact, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to layer it, my star in here. So let's pop a little bit of glue onto there. Debbie's struggling now with the silly nails. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to let that dry up. I'll leave my other star for another tag. But again, I'll just lift that up and let that dry a little bit. Uh, and there you go. You've got your beautiful Christmas tag ready then to attach to whatever parcel, whatever card, whatever gift bag. Uh, and again, just absolutely beautiful. I adore these, Joe. They are really good fun. Uh, like you said, a little treat to yourself. Um, and not going to break the bank either. So they're absolutely incredible. And they are new today, Joe. New they today. They are brand new today, launching for you in this launch party show, which is 
is very, very exciting. Uh, and remember the kind of things that you're going to be able to achieve with these. I think they're going to look fabulous on things like your boxes. You can see here, I absolutely love this one that's been done that says here, sent with love. Then you've got your acetate, your little trees, your little deers on there. You're going to really be able to layer these up, which I think is fantastic. And again, this one here as well, which says believe in the magic. I actually even just think, you know, just the just the vellum with the little stars on looks awesome. Let me show you then the two collections that you are getting. So you're going to get this one here, which is winter forest scene. So this is one of your little deers on there and your trees, your heart. You've got that love sentiment as well as the stars and the scent with to and from. And they're two different, they're two different tag shapes as well, the main dies. But with sentiments, you've got that prancing reindeer. Uh, you've got that bow in there as well, which is awesome. 1438 or 1908. Remember what you also get in there as well is you're getting both of the vellums in there. So 50 sheets of that blue and 50 sheets of the white. A lot of you are choosing to add extra vellum into your baskets, which is a really savvy thing to do because that being, of course, your consumable element. If you want to add the, uh, if you want to add the vellums in there, you can. Here's the white one, 499 or 695, or you can go for the ice blue one as well. Details there on your screen. Now, we're going to share with you what we are launching tomorrow, and it is these. You are going to love them. When I saw the board of these and what you can do with them, I was absolutely blown away. I'm so excited for the show tomorrow. Debbie has been cuckooing over how amazing all the samples are that we're going to share with you uh, tomorrow. We are both so excited for this launch. Here they are. Look at these. How incredible. You're going to be able to create these six different sizes and styles of both. Think about using these with all your different textures of cardstock, glitter card, mirror card, matte mirror card. How about using things like vellums and acetates with these as well? How about inky cardstock? You're going to be able to turn into both. You are going to have a field day uh, with these. They are absolutely incredible there is so many different things that you're going to be able to do with these it launches tomorrow with myself and debbie debbie's adamant that she wants to share with you the samples oh, okay debbie in a minute in a minute debbie honestly she's like a coiled spring over there honestly i've never seen her so excited right uh, it launches tomorrow with myself and debbie 2 p.m no 3 p.m in the uk 11 a.m if you're across on the East Coast, uh, which is what? 8 a.m. if you're over on the West. Okay, Debbie, we'll let you show the samples now <laughs> if you must. Well, I'm going to go and run over to me. Um Oh, I've put that in the wrong box. Hang on a minute. Oh, dear me. Um, I'm getting so excited, let me tell you. Um, I love a bow, and I think there's so much you can do with it. Not just in card making, not just in gift boxes. What about headwear? I want you to tune into the show tomorrow because I'm Ooh, trying... corsage, maybe? I, well, yeah, I'm going to try and do lots of different ways that you can use this gorgeous design. Uh, and again, I'm going to show you a few samples. I'm going to save the others for tomorrow because I've got so many that I want to show you. But you can be creating your beautiful box bows with ease with this gorgeous set. This beautiful bag that's been made. Oh, I absolutely stunning. love this. Bianca did this one. It's just glorious. And just by those little finishing bows on those handles, make it look absolutely fabulous. If you love making tags, you can add them to a tag or two. Uh, you can take them into your card making as well uh, and again back onto your box making so there is a lot that you can do with it but I want you to stay tuned to the show tomorrow because I'm going to try and cover lots of different ways from your card making to possibly wearing something with it as well but honestly I just think they're such a great concept and again I love a bow I remember a launch that we did when I first started in the sh in the sh in the store, what's the store? The in store. The store. Miss Money Penny. Uh, in the store where we had. Do you remember the Downton Abbey one we did? You probably yeah, do you remember. I do. Yes. Did I say that wrong? Did I say mm. Downton Downton Abbey? Abbey. Abbey. Downton yeah, Abbey. 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 Yes. There was a bold eye in that collection, and can I tell you? sold out in record time wow so trousers it literally was one of those dyes that everybody wanted they weren't bothered about some other collection you know it took a little bit of while i'm not gonna lie you know we we, we you know we, we were at that a little while in store that bow dye 
literally flew out of the door. And I predict a little riot tomorrow. So if you want to just grab hold of yours, tune in tomorrow. In fact, we're going to give you a sneak peek in the launch. Uh, we are. Launch. And we're going to have a special guest before. with us as well, aren't oh, we? Absolutely. So it's going to be a cracking day and it's going to be a cracking launch. And we're going to show you lots of ways that you can do it because that particular one set creates so many different styles and I absolutely love it. It really, really does. Uh, the lovely Ian Davis is with us tomorrow. Uh, he's back with us uh, as well. So that'll be fun. He's going to be here in the morning uh, with us and also uh, is going to be here uh, for Crave Cravings as well. Oh, steady. All right. I, I thought we were done, Debbie. Gosh, no. no we're going to go back no. to Debbie again. Come back on, to come Debbie. Just, just come and have a little peek. That ball set. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What a wow. That is amazing. Same ball set. Look at that. And then again. And again, and again, and again. Boom. And this is one die set that's creating all of these. I know that you're going to love it. And I am calling Leanne out with the, uh, I put it to riot because I definitely put it to riot with this particular die set. I know you're going to love it. I right, promise that's that's Joe. Riot Sorry. will ensue. I can tell how excited she is about that launch tomorrow. Right. We are going to move on and we're going to have a look at this lovely collection uh, here. Now, we launched these just yesterday, the Layering Delicate Panel Die Collection. Four awesome brand new designs in here. Um, I'm not sure. Have we done previous designs of these before? I don't recall seeing these before, Debbie. These are a, a new concept as far as I'm concerned. The new panel dies. Yes, these yes. panel dies. Yeah, these are brand new, yes. Brand new concept. Four new designs for you. Nina cardstock included as well. And you know what they give you, Debbie? Oh, go on. Go on. Go on, what do you think they give you? Craft, crafted, 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 and craft, something like that. Opportunity. Oh, oh, Silly old man. I was. How did I forget that? I was flabberwhelmed when I saw the amount of different <laughs> things that you could do with these. I really, really was. Let me run you through the four designs that you are getting. So you're getting the elegant butterflies. Now, the great thing is about these, all of these individual um, wings here on the butterflies, they all lift up as well, which is awesome. You've then got this one, which is your entwining vines, which is beautiful. This one here, this was your favourite, you said, the peacock feathers. It was a card of the day, actually, I see that one. And you're going to receive in there as well the perfect peonies, and you're getting the Nina cardstock in there as well. I'm just going to share with you a few of the different concepts that you can do uh, with these because there are absolutely blooming loads of them. Now, let me just grab a few of these out of here. Wonderful on things uh, like your box fronts. Even just in the simple black and white, you'll see the, the amount of different things you're able to do with these. <gasps> How about doing, love this one, Debbie. Mm -hmm. I know you love these as well, Debbie. A light up box. Ooh, yeah. Absolutely love a light up box. So if you want to do things like your light up boxes with them, uh, they are going to be fantastic. Dome front cards are going to be awesome with these as well. Uh, your um, theatre cards or your bridge cards also looking fantastic. Uh, things like, love this one as well, such a simple design, but it shows you the beauty of the die when even these super simple techniques look amazing. I'll just quickly share this last one with you as well. This side stepper uh, that you can see just there. Imagine that with a lovely, gorgeous background wash going on. Some of your sparkle pens maybe there in the background. Uh, this one here, I love, seem to be seeing a lot of these like illusions, like a tenth fold illusion card just there. See, you can tell I love them all so much there because I keep saying, I'll just show you this last one. <laughs> Let me just show you this last one. This really is the last one I'm going to share with you. But this one as well, like an illusion easel. Ooh, look. Oh, I love, honestly love, love them. That one, They're great, gorgeous. aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. And if you did want, or you do want some extra inspiration, apart from this show that we're going to give you, because I'm going to try and get a couple of demos with these, um, go back to that loan show, because we did quite a lot. Are you, uh, look, take a look at I you. thought these just, would make quite a nice little, you know. Do you know, I can't trust you with nothing, can I? Can you imagine? Oh, Night ah. out, those. <laughs> honestly, pop those around. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Debbie, them. back to you. It's quite all right, Joe. It's quite all right. Um, but again, these are absolutely beautiful. So again, this is one that I did. Uh, actually, this did this win the card of the day, if I remember rightly? It was, yeah. yes. So this is the reverse easel using those peacock feathers, um, showing you the kind of versatility that you can use with them. Uh, this one I did in the loan show, which was showing you how... Uh, go that way, Debbie. Uh, the trifold, where I used a couple of them, created the aperture, pops and vellum behind the back. And then that was that our favourite one, wasn't it, Debbie? It was my favourite. Mm, it was mine. I, 
too. We absolutely love that we one. We were very disappointed that the people didn't speak we, and vote that we in. We did, yeah. We were a little bit disappointed with that one. <laughs> and then you've got your shaker elements. You've got the beautiful butterflies. And I've showed you these two just so you can see the difference too. Uh, because these are absolutely fantastic. They really are gorgeous uh, dyes. And then possibly one of my favourites is this gorgeous vines it's absolutely stunning and the snippability factor where you can snip into it and add it and decoration and all those kind of things um absolutely fabulous and i am going to demonstrate with it right now let me pop those in there whoops hang on a minute there we go um, and i'm going to use the peacock feathers love this dye oh it is absolutely beautiful i think they all are and i keep changing my mind about which one i like joe i think i'm going to go with peacock feathers now until I get my butterflies out later. Uh, but I'm going to pop. <laughs> I'm going to pop. <laughs> I'm going to pop. Oh, dear. Oh, it's been a long day. Wasn't Don't me that me time. Off. I did laugh. Was, no, it's it was that naughty George, 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 George with his joystick. The, gorgeous George of the joystick. Yes, gorgeous George of the joystick. I keep telling you, Joe. Keep telling you, get his name right. right. Gorgeous George of the joystick. <laughs> uh, and I'm just running that through. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss it. This, for me, is... Oh, what, what, how, how do we describe this? Where you've got that little finishing touch again. A je ne sais quoi. A je ne sais quoi. Because it has got the beautiful embossed detail on it. And it is well worth... Now, if you are wanting to create an aperture that's how you would create your aperture then pop your panel back in in a different color um, and that's what you can be doing with it but i just want to um, emboss this so i'm going to remove the magnetic shim now then who's had me mag who's that there it is oops oh yeah that's the one uh, so i've placed it on with the die facing upwards popping on our uh, rubber embossing mat and then finishing off with the last cutting plate and we're going to run that through this just gives it that lovely extra finishing detail because there's details in that die that have got die cut elements and then a, the non die cut element which is called the embossing part it's the bit that hasn't got the raised die cut over it the outside um, cutting edge um, and that's the bit that really does make a difference um, and it's definitely worth running it through um, that second time with your rubber embossing mat to get that look now i'm just going to try and balance them plates without them falling off and apologies if they do fall off um before i actually take it out though joe i'm going to turn this over and i'm going to can you see all this beautiful dye mm. you can see where the feathers are and everything and the um the uh, plumage 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 is that what it is no plumage, plumage is right i just start, they like oh, to sound yeah, a bit fancy sometimes devil. what are you like uh, now i'm going to bring in my water reactive inks for this so i've got pine tree i've got lemon tonic i've got crushed velvet i've got a bit of parakeet quite nice rich color palette here uh, and i'm just going to literally um using my finger dabber dauber uh, go in with my ink and use it as a stencil to color in now i'm going to go in with the um where i think all the color would be with the foliage plumage 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 yeah plumage yeah just call Absolutely. it what you want, Debbie. We know what exactly. you mean. Exactly, you know what we I know. mean. We all speak Debbie yeah. now, it's fine. <laughs> all of us, all the viewers speak, they'll be fluent in Debbie now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job. It really it's is. It's a good job. You know, I, I sometimes forget I'm not still in Yorkshire when I'm up here. And I, I you know, I have to d tone down the dulcet uh, Yorkshire tune. <laughs> Give it, a, give it a different accent. No, you can't. No, you can't, you can you? Can't. You've got to be who you are. That's the thing. Absolutely. You've got to be who you are. I think you could move anywhere, Debbie, and you'd never lose your accent. Uh, I never, prob no. I, I probably never would, um, actually. No. I think you're bang right there. I think, um, yeah, because, yeah, I've often said that. Apparently, you know, the cut-off point for keeping your accent is 12 years old. Did you know that? Really? Yes. A friend really? of mine moved from the UK to uh, Australia when he was 11 and his brother was 15. The 15 year old still sounds like I do. Really? And the uh, 11 year old sounds like he's lived in, sounds like he's from Australia. Has wow. the thickest like Queensland accent. Oh wow. So apparently I don't know what it is that happens when you're 12, but it, um, yeah, that's, that's what determines it apparently. Oh, I see. So, yeah, public service broadcasting here, Debbie. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to go back in. I've just seen a little area what I've missed, so I'll go back in with that one. Um, this is just to get a little bit of lay down of colour, which is why I'm using it through the uh, dye. But it is really, um, you know, a gorgeous effect. 
um, and a nice easy one to do of course you could do it afterwards but um, I'm quite happy with that because what I'm going to do is is go in there run that through and when you take it out and don't forget to clean your die so you would clean your die down but I'm just gonna um, oh, get rid of all my little bits there we go um, nice just, oh I think actually it's got oh no there's one little piece there Oh no, there's not. There's one little piece there. But what I'm going to do now is just finish off. So you can see where all the details gone through with the darkest part. And then what I'm going to go uh, is back in with the colours. So I'm going to have a little bit of the um, crushed velvet around the tip of there. Nice. And again, it's just a very quick, easy way of doing. But by using the stencil, it goes in quite darker. So on that embossed detail, it goes a little bit darker because it's pushed through there a little bit more. Hence why I do that technique, because it does make a real difference. And then what I'm going to do is go in with the next colour, which is the parakeet. So we'll go around with the parakeet again. And can you see I'm not losing any of that darkness? Yeah, nice that it's still there, the intense yeah. colour of And that's underneath, because isn't it? of that embossed detail, Joe. That's what that's the difference between running it through with your rubber embossing mat and not. Because honestly, you wouldn't get the same look through there. But again, I'm just gonna go in with the middle part of the um, peacock feather. I love these. Plumage. Nice posh word. Go back in with a little bit of parakeet around the bottom part. You love getting, getting a bit inky and having can a Can you tell? You? I yeah, I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah, I told you I was doing a lot of my prep while I was watching the Doctor Who episode the other night. Mm. Um, and I, this, these were the ones that I couldn't stop playing with. Mm. Um, and I, I, I've literally, I had one for this morning's secret filming. Um, and um, I, I, I want, again, okay, two for tonight. And then I had all those launch ones as well because I just had to step away because they're possibly one of my favourite dyes that we've brought out in a while. And I do think the, they're absolutely gorgeous. The detail is off the yeah, chart, isn't it? You look at absolutely. how intricate they are. Absolutely. Uh, but this is the fun bit. Die cut it out and then have the fun bit um, creating, you know, the extra. Now, the only difference that I've added on this one that I'm going to bring in now is that I put up a little bit of spring meadow. Can't nice. find the spring meadow, that's why I'm bringing the one that I finished. Um, I've looked Good everywhere, shot. couldn't find it, so, whoops. You don't want to throw it in bin, Debbie, the one that you just don't. You're going to pop that back in your bag. So, I've got all those pieces done, Joe. I'll just move my inks out of the way. And I'm just going to... Give me a little counter a clean. In fact, is Tracy hanging around anywhere? Oh, I can she's see. Usually. I wonder if she's around. I just, I just need some. Um, I just need some new wipes to wipe down the counter ah. because uh, we're kind of um, run out. Uh, I'm not saying Debbie's used them all today. You've been doing a lot of cleaning up, Debbie. I have. I, I've been cleaning up after myself, Joe, because I'm uh, trying to stay in Tracy's and John's good books. Thank you very much. Coletta Cooper says she uh, has a Downton Abbey collection. Yes, there is a bow. Yes. A lot of people still loving those bows. Becky can't wait for them. Lynn's excited. Uh, Margaret's looking forward to the bow launch tomorrow as well. Uh, and Rose saying how fabulous this is. Crafting with Stacey says they are proud to be from Yorkshire, Debbie. Yay! Uh, and Kim on YouTube says nothing wrong with a bit of Yorkshire oh, coming from the you. Yorkshire, uh, coming from the Yorkshire lass. Uh, Carol Saunders says this is true, Joe. Talking about accent, accents. My kids were 12, 8, and 9 when we moved to Australia. They all speak like Australians. Oh, there wow. you go. Oh, that's amazing. What did our judge, gorgeous George of the Joystick just tell me then in my ear? It's from Yorkshire. I thought you were a Devon boy, George. Oh. So hence why he hasn't got his Yorkshire yeah, accent Yeah, we left then. Yorkshire with five or six. Five Whereabouts or six. in Yorkshire were you, George? Oh, sorry. Oh, that. what was that? <laughs> <laughs> He said Leeds in his ear, didn't he? Do you he, remember Leeds? that Victoria Wood sketch when she was uh, <laughs> doing the news and she went, and apologies to our viewers in the north, it must be awful for you. <laughs> do you remember that, Debbie? I do, yeah, I do. Oh. Uh, now, I've created myself a background because do you know which collection this peacock works oh. in? The peacock feathers. Now, I literally uh, used some matte black cardstock, bit of gold, uh, do you know the look gold, um, shiny... Um, Mirror, mirror card. card, thank you, and uh, literally brought out that beautiful paper that I've got. Uh, and what I'm going to do, Joe, is what did you do with all your bits, Debbie? Please tell me I didn't chop into it. Do you know if I've chopped what into you done this? with your bits? I'm going to kick myself if I've chopped into this. I blinking well have. What have you done? I've chopped into my card base. Oh, Debbie. like a silly bit. Oh, I haven't. I forgot what I was. 
Hello. Come on, shush now, Tracy. Honestly, yeah, she's I, making a I right old racket at it. I'm being heckled by Tracy now. <laughs> uh, so I've taken some acetate. Can you see me acetate? I've cut it to the same size. I'm going to pop my panel on. Now, my panel, I just had uh, an inch and a half, and I popped a little panel just at the top, because that's going to actually sit at the back, like so. I made myself the same size panel for the bottom, and I've used the um, opposite end of the cardstock. Right. And then I'm going to... So what I'll do first is I'll attach my base to the back of my card base. Do you know, I'm sure I have chopped it down. I knew it. There we go. Jo I'm thinking it weren't black on white. There's no way I'd have done black on white. I know what I've done. I would literally, I'm glad I didn't chop into it. I thought I had done, Joe, but I haven't. Crafting with Stacey is a Bradford lass. A Bradford yep. girl, yeah. My best friend Lee is from Bradford. It's from a place called Wibsey, which I've never been to. No, nope, me neither. Wibsey. Wibsey. Yeah. Wibsy. No, I've never been to Wibsy. He says some fabulous things, Debbie, like, once he said to me, E, I don't know him in the world. E, what? E, I don't know him in the world. E, I e, don't know him E, I don't know him in the world. And Mimua. that was, E, I don't know him, I know her. E, I don't know him in the world. Ah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. And he also true. said once as well, oh, E, lovely flaff. And I was like, lovely what? Lovely flaff? E, oh, E, lovely flaff. What's so what are you flaff? saying? He went, love, live, laugh. Love the oh, flaff. Oh, <laughs> dear. Very funny. For, uh, Very honestly, funny accent. Yeah. It's a good accent, though. It is a good accent. It is a good but accent, I, yeah. I know what you mean. Sometimes I have to watch, not what I say, but because there's certain pronunciations that people don't understand. So I have to try and be careful. So I've got certain words that I use that I can't use on the telly because it doesn't sound right, but it's just the way oh, that it's Debbie, said. you know I'm going to be desperate to know what these <laughs> words are now, aren't you? <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do, Joe, <clears throat> swiftly moving along, is I'm going to attach my um, acetate to this flap here. So I'm going to turn that over and literally I've cut the size of the acetate to um, roughly the size of the base that I want. I'm just going to push that down for a second and I'm going to put my tape just along the top uh, like so and then attach my acetate and I'm having to hold it down into place Joe because uh, I don't trust myself with acetate. Uh, but again, really fabulous and it gives you that floating element but I'm just going to pop on the base to sturdy it my little strip panel that I've popped there nice. so again I'm going to um, oh I thought I cleaned all ink up clearly not Debbie dirty devil um, and I'm just going to pop that and I'm going to just literally I'm going to have to do this by eye because um, again studio lights Debbie's eyes Funny oh though, Debbie, God. like South Yorkshire accent, completely different. Well, definitely differences to like a West Yorkshire accent, isn't there? Definitely what? Differences. Dif oh, de like definitely. I can tell yeah. your accent and Michelle's accent apart. Well, Michelle lives in Norfolk now, you see. Yeah, so but she's, I, she, yeah, she's, she's definitely a bit she of a West Yorkshire. Yeah, time, she's she? not. She's not a. She's not a South Yorkshire girl. No. But doesn't matter. Yorkshire's Yorkshire. Oh, uh, Yorkshire is Yorkshire. Um, yeah, it's Yorkshire. Lot. They stick together. Uh, now, I'm using my dotted tape pendule. This is a really intricate die, and I want it to stick onto the panel of my floating acetate uh, panel there. So I'm going to just bring this around all the way, literally covering as many of those feathers as I can. Oh, gorgeous, isn't it? This is just beautiful. And then I'm just going to attach it to the front panel, like so. And then, I did have a, yes, I know I did. Yes, I did. There we go. Got myself my little special friend uh, that I'm just going to attach to the bottom. Um, and again, let's, um, have I got any foam pads left around here? Yes. Yes, we have. We'll have a foam pad just to lift that up like so. And again, I'm just going to take off those foam pads. Have you been pinching things around my end again? <laughs> yes, Debbie. But I've I, just been in and pinched I something thought you around had, your Joe, end. I thought you had. <laughs> I could hear you rumbling around on the, the back, back side of me. Side of me. <laughs> oh, Debbie. Yes. You could hear me. Yes, Debbie. <laughs> yes. I, I'm just going to say yes, Debbie, and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, literally whew, sometimes i'm just going to get myself into trouble one of these days uh, right so i'm going to i think i'm just going to add a few little gems me and me unky dora gems i get you about every opportunity I can. Gems, you? <laughs> you've got to get them out joe when you can because honestly <laughs> these are just 
and your gems. <laughs> oh, you dear can tell, me. You can tell it's been a long day in the Crafters TV household today. Oh, I Debbie has had a literally. very long day. She's been here since. <laughs> she was up with a lark this morning, weren't you, Debbie? Uh, I was up at six o'clock this morning in the studio for about eight, I think it was, or yeah. something like that. So uh, who and knows I've been here. what's going to come out of Debbie's mouth <laughs> in the next hour and ten minutes? <laughs> and I, I genuinely, <laughs> genuinely um, haven't stopped all day. Uh, I sat down for about, I think, fifteen minutes to wolf me uh, jacket spud, which was delicious, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> In uh, Yorkshire terms, that's a jacket potato. A jacket I think potato, that's the yeah. same everywhere in, in the world. Uh, but there you go. Oh, to wolf it, sorry, to eat it. Oh, look how beautiful that, that looks. That is gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? I'm even surprised myself how gorgeous it looks. Uh, but honestly, these are beautiful dies. Uh, and because they're the panel dies, it does mean that you can put them onto any kind of card. Uh, and I've got a little floating element going off there. I'm just going to stand that there because um, on the glass mat, it, tends to slip and slide everywhere uh, but look how beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous I reckon dies. you could read do you think you could snip into those as well do I'm definitely seeing yeah. that middle one maybe cut and then like layered up over the top of the three of them if you wanted to absolutely mm. Abs absolutely yes definitely really beautiful definitely. 43 85 54 50 if you want to get all of these let me run you back through the four that you are getting you are going to get the Nina cardstock in there as well it was a brand new launch for you just yesterday so if you did miss it you're in the fortunate position where you can still get hold of the launch offer, which I'm telling you is a luxury these days. It really is. Let me take you through the boards of the four different designs that you have got here. So you've got those beautiful butterflies. You've also then got this here, which is your entwining vines. Then you have your peacock feathers. Also, your perfect peonies there as well. Really beautiful collection. Now, I'm going to take you through something brand new, which is launching... This is launching for you Friday, which is amazing. And it is these amazing ornate the screen dies. I've never seen anything quite like oh, them, Debbie. Can I just tell you how exciting these are? I think Debbie's got, I think I'm sure it's Debbie that's got them here. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's Debbie. Uh, I'm Debbie Fisher. I'm sure it's Debbie Fisher, yeah. I know I've got them at Create and Craft, and I know, I'm sure it's me and Debbie are doing the alternate switching over of shifts. But these are absolutely stunning dies that Aren't you're going to be able to create so many different things. You've got that Look beautiful, at ornate screen. Oh, Joe, honestly, they are beautiful. I can't tell you how gorgeous these are. And you've got lots of different panels that go where you Ooh, can look. create your, your florals. Look at this one. Go on. Gorgeous. Honestly, I know that you are going to absolutely love these. These are something really different. Light up boxes. I've never seen anything like boxes. these before. I, know, I can tell with your face because you're like, every time you're opening one up, you're like, oh, <gasps> look at this, look at this. But these are really beautiful, beautiful dies that I know Debbie can't wait to show you. Um, and again, you're going to literally predict a riot, or I'm going to predict a riot. Because of that difference and because of how different they are, I think you are going to love them. And if you want to grab hold of them, make sure you tune in. Sneaky peek on Wake Up Call. You'll get to see them first on Wake Up Call. But take a look at Joe's Yeah, both. so what you're going to get is the uh, ornate screen, which is this. And then you've got two sets of panels. So you can see the panels that are within here. You've got the rose panels and the trellis panels as well. So that's sort of the main uh, structure, if you will, of the concept. And then what we've got is an, so, some awesome stamps and dies, which are designed to go with these, so you can theme these as well. So this one here is your hummingbird. Got a kind of really lovely oriental uh, feel to it, this one. Then you've got your look at this one, happily ever after. Love that. Absolutely love it. With your bride and groom there. And again, you've got that, and that extra tr um, trellis panel within there, which is fantastic. This one here... This is your schmetterlings. Uh, you can't have too many schmetterlings in your collection. We know this already. Uh, then you've also got here as well, this which is your treasured memories. Look at that, those gorgeous, imagine creating those um, screens with all those wonderful stained glass windows in there. You're gonna absolutely adore these. They launch for you on the 5th, Friday the 5th November. That's this coming Friday at 3 p.m. in the UK. That'll be 11 a.m. East Coast, 8 a.m. for you guys over 
on the west coast as well. So make sure you grab a hold of those. Must remind you as well about the festive tags. Exceptionally busy on these at the moment. Lots of you going for these. They do make the cutest little tags and there's so many ornate little dies within here that you're going to really love putting together and think about putting them onto card projects as well as making them for your gifts. This is what you're getting included within here. Remember, you've got the magic of Christmas with that dancing deer, the bow, the magic sentiment and the stamps. And then in a different gift tag shape, you've then got this one here. It's your winter forest scene with it's the uh, little stag there, the trees, the heart and the love. And then your stamps within there is off. $17.97 or $23.85 if you want to get your hands on those. They save you 25%. One third of our launch stock though on those has sold out and gone. A lot of you got those in your baskets at the moment as well. In fact, I think what we're going to do, we'll give you an opportunity to check out those baskets. So whilst you do, uh, here's all the details on how you can watch and shop at the same time. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. Their plastic shims size to work with a whole range of Gemini machines. We have some awesome deals going, so visit Crafters Companion website and find out more. Oh, very, very busy. Lots of you taking the opportunity. Check out there under that piece of video. Having a very busy wake up call. And it's going to get even busier because we are moving into these. Oh my giddy aunt. I was flabberwhelmed when I saw these, Debbie, at how fabulous they are and how many different things you can do with them because they are amazing. So what you've got here are your different designs and they are of course going to give you that lovely, uh, really gorgeous deep emboss, but also cut that intricate detail into there. Butterflies, have you seen more gorgeous butterflies? They are just amazing. Then we've got some florals in here. So you've got your flourishing flowers. Now, all of these individual petals, they all lift up and it means you can get in there and ink behind them all as well, which is fantastic. And again here with your spring blooms, then we move into these more abstract ones, which I love. You've got your interlocking circles there with that beautiful embossed texture. Then you've got your uh, entwined hearts for all you lovebirds out there. And then finally, of course, you've got your interlocking squares as well. It's a really good sort of array of different styles of design uh, within the six embossing folders. 59.96, 67.80 uh, if you want to get your hands on these ones right here. Here. I think these are probably right up your straws, I imagine, Debbie. They are. I was just looking for black and white concepts. Have I got? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll demonstrate. Then I'll have a little look because I want you to think about this as being 
something that will transform ordinary cardstock into something fabulous because of the embossing feature. But the metal dies in there create the lovely um, cutout element. And these particular ones, there, so there's a couple of here that in the design that uh, don't have the um, the sponge in the centre because these have got a lift out element to them. Right. And some of them have got a cut out feature which you'll have ones with the white sponge in because okay. they cut the apertures out. Uh, but these I want you to think about of how you can use them. Slimline is a very on trend current fashion going off at the moment in the world of card making. Hence why we're bringing out lots uh, following the trends. But, but... These fabulous um, cutting emboss folders are going to be able to be used in so many different ways. So, first things first. Now, I've got a couple of ways that we're going to do this. And I thought, you know what? I might just um, ink it up afterwards. So, I've got some um, watercolour cardstock. Watercolour trying cardstock. to remember Ooh. what I've got then. Um, and I'll just show you the uh, a beautiful feature of the cutting emboss folder. So, all the embossing detail is on one side, the metal die on the other, with the recessed side, which where the embossing pushes up, the die cuts down, and you get this gorgeous um, element. Now, I had done myself a little um, inky background, but I think I'll go with this technique and make it this way instead. So we're going to pop that in. Now, um, for a cut and emboss folder, Joe, let me just move these plates out of the way before I crash bang wallop everywhere. Um, your two clear cutting plates. Now, you can see with the size of these, these are a big... Um, cut and emboss folder they simply just shy of the nine inch they are eight well they're actually um, your dl size aren't they they're a bit bigger than the dl size which is the um, eight and a half by just slightly under the four inch mark but i love these again it's that it's the whole idea of making quick easy cards um that have got a wow factor to them and they really do have a wow factor to them joe uh, because they do cut out and emboss at that same time so i'm going to take my time with this one Let me just pull these out because they've got that lovely delicate wing feature and again i'm just gonna bring that down awesome there's been a game going on for the last two shows debbie which you were not privy or aware to okay we found a new word today in the wake up call go on then flabberwhelmed and the Flabber viewers what? flabberwhelmed. Flabberwhelmed? Yeah, when you're flabbergasted and overwhelmed at the same time. <laughs> flabberwhelmed. <laughs> and the viewers <laughs> thought that there was no way I'd be able to get it in the show without you questioning it. And I've said it three times and you've not questioned it. So oh. uh, the viewers lost, I'm afraid. Oh, do you there know you what? Are. I've never know Well, do you know why? Because you say so many different, like... My flabber is gastered. <laughs> and I, what was the other one? Because I think I picked it up. The gobbeth is smacketh or something like that. We or what? Something like, the gobbeth is smacketh? <laughs> I don't know. Gobsmacked? Gobsmacked. I'm I sure don't you've think used that mine. one. Oh, is that mine? Oh, wow. Well. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll just take claim to that one. I'll just take claim to that one. But uh, I'm not really so sure. So basically you're saying I, I come out with so much rubbish that these days you just don't even bother questioning <laughs> it. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you just go, yeah, no, okay, whatever. No. <laughs> no, but... Um, so you've been saying flabberwhelmed. Flabberwhelmed. I've said it three times today. You haven't noticed, yeah? Well, I see. There you are. Well, I see, Joe. Now, Maybe this could be a running theme, Debbie, where I try and say something in every show we do together, see if you pick me up on it. No, I probably won't. No. And to, to be honest, it's been such a long day, so you're going to go away with saying anything to me. Absolutely. Now, I've put my ink pads down. Just give me a second while I fight. There it is. Lemon tonic. Parakeet. There we go. Um, and these two pieces, that was one that was already pre-coloured, but the one that I haven't pre-coloured is you can go back over. So I wanted to show you the two different ways that you can take it. Uh, and again, just go over the edge. Oops, I think I've got a mucky yellow pad here. Yeah, perhaps I've mixed this one. <clears throat> never mind, Joe, never mind. But again, just showing you the two different ways that you can do your inky technique again. Um, and I love using water reactive inks hence why i actually used watercolor cardstock because it does take it a lot better um, and again i'm just gonna go over the top like so does it blend easier than on something something like knee uh, something like stamping card um, yes yeah well you get your optimum results with water right. reactive ink pads with watercolor cardstock okay, okay. optimum results but i use stamping card a lot i'm not gonna lie so I do use it quite a few times. Um, and you still get a nice uh, fit. Oh, then I wonder. Then I wonder why I get a different colour on there, Joe. Because I didn't switch 
<laughs> you just put your orange over. one into your blue uh, one. Yeah, I'm such a silly Billy, really. <laughs> um, but again, this is a couple of ways that you can do it. It's just show you two different looks. Um, that was already inked, but can you see the difference, what you've got with um, not inking until afterwards? And there is two different ways that you can do this to create two different styles. But again, I do love a good watery tip ink pad because, oh, look as well, mixing that colour up to create that little bit of a green. How gorgeous is that? Really, really beautiful. Um, and then go back in. Uh oh, the ink yellow though, is it anymore? Oh, no, Joe. You just should stop me from doing these things, <laughs> literally. Oh, um, Debbie. Please don't tell Tracy. She'll Tracy. never know. She'll never know if you don't say anything. Uh, I'm going to go back in. Let me find another. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll get away with that one. I'll get away with that one. She's, uh -oh. she's, she's uh -oh. not deaf, she said. She said to oh. me, Tracy, she can hear you. Oh, and no. can she, she can see that you ruined her ink pads, is what she's saying. I'm really sorry, Tracy. I'm really, really sorry. I'll do my, oh, I'll do my best to get rid of it. <laughs> I promise. Oh, God, look at straight. Why am I trying? I'm so sorry, Tracy. Look, I'm really sorry. Oh. Look, it's a dirty ink pad. <laughs> I, I apologise right now, Tracy. She, uh, what, 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 what was that? I don't know, she's muttering something in Tracy, I can't quite make it out. <laughs> well, look though, but Tracy, can I just show you? But um, look how beautiful it is. Yeah, it looks... <laughs> look how beautiful it is that she's made. <laughs> look, you can't... How could you hold that, hold a grudge against such a beautiful creation? <laughs> but... <laughs> but, but, can I just say, can you see the two different looks there? Quite visibly now. So that was on a pre-coloured... Um, a pre-coloured inky background yep. and then just by adding your ink afterwards but uh, producer Georgina's right look it's not affecting my colour at all because that's my lemon tonic mm. come back out so again I'm just going to build that up of course you could go back over um, your image with um, the colour again and it'll just pick up on those raised effects but I, I quite like this one I'm going to go with this one Jo I am going to go with this one so it, again it's just to show you the two different ways that you can do now <clears throat> you've got the butterfly wings that lift up and again you can use um use your fingers to give them a little curve curve appeal curve appeal um curve curb appeal no curve. curb appeal is what houses have georgina not cards <laughs> 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 uh, I'm curving it. I'm giving it a little bit of a rounded, um, yeah, a bit rounded. There we go. So I'm just using end of my paintbrush for this one. But how gorgeous are these when they, uh oh, when they lift up. You swan. Silly old me. My little, oh, uh, what? Eh? Did you call it a swan? No, I've, um, I've pulled my butterfly. You just said I'm going to use the paintbrush on the corner of my swan. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Oh. He called it a swan. Oh dear. Oh, Debbie. Oh, dear. Debbie, should we just have a, we have a little time out for a moment? Do you know, I know. I'm thinking <laughs> Tracy's fetched me a coffee. Oh, gosh, bless her little heart. Um, I tell you what, we'll just carry on. Yeah, let's. We'll just carry on, regardless. Um, I've popped a little bit of a blue that I thought worked. Although it's parakeet, I thought the pale blue just complemented nice. that. So I've just used that from the, um, I think it was the gnome pad, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I think it was the gnome pad. Mm. Uh, but I'm going to use some wet glue. What I'm going to do, though, is take care. Do you know, because I've got my lovely lift-up wings, I'm just going to take care not to um, pop... Well, I'm not getting any glue out of this one. Uh, not get any glue on where the wings are. And again, I'm just going to go around there. You don't want to stick your wings down, do you, no, Debbie? Absolutely not. Not clip your wings, no. Uh, crafting station, I'm going to order that tag set and get it delivered to my mum's. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, haven't we? Uh, yes. And uh, Ellis, Ellis says, I love these slimline cut and embossed folders. They look like so much fun to use. And the designs you come up with are amazing. Uh, Panda Craft says, can we send pics of our makes in tonight or are you not showing any? Why not? Send them in. Ooh. We'll share some. We haven't had any yet. But you can send them in to us, of course, always can. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. There you are. Let us know when you've sent them. What, I'm sending pictures in, Joe, of? Send uh, your makes. Oh, yes. I love, oh, yeah. Yes, please. I love sharing good makes because um, it gives you a bit of inspiration as well, doesn't it? You can see that gorgeous lift up factor with that cut and emboss folder. Um, I'm then going to pop it onto some um, silver card again, just to Ooh. literally lift it up a little bit. Um, Glue, Debbie, glue. Yeah. Oh, now then. Might have to just squish my butterfly wings just for a couple of seconds while I um, pop my tape pen onto the back. 
uh, Mandoodle Hands is asking about the last card you made. Does anyone know where that paper pad was from? It was from the Peacock Collection, wasn't it, Debbie? Yes, it was. It was yes, indeed. From the there Peacock we are. Collection. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if that card is still available, but you could, by all means, go and check it out on the website. Um, but I, I, yeah, I'm not sure if it still is, but it was one that I had in my craft room and I thought it looked really well with that uh, feathers. Although if you saw the show yesterday, the one that won the card of the day, I used the masquerade papers because they look, work really well mm, with it as they well. They go really well together, don't they? They do, yes. Now I'm just going to clean up my mat before I bring in my white card stock because I don't want any inky... Uh, back of the card yep back of the card and um, so I'm bringing it in now and I've literally just taken some A4 card uh, and snipped it to the eight and a half just slightly bigger than eight and a half it went to eight and three quarters folded that in half and that is now going to sit onto there and apart from adding a few gems and a, se uh, a sentiment um, you've got a great card made very very easily and again depending on what you cut into and what you know inky backgrounds you cut in cut into or add your ink afterwards um you're gonna love these i know you are there's so many ways and i'm i am gonna get ready in a moment and just get some of those black and white concepts oh yeah to show you some of the ways that you can use it now when you add your sentiments and you had your gems there's the effect that you get and literally that is simply just an happy birthday from one of our uh, collections and again just showing you what you can do and i've just added a few more okie dory Really lovely, Debbie. Absolutely. Really gorgeous. Thank you. I'll get those black and white concepts. You grab there, just your, for a second, Joe. You grab your concepts. I'll go back through what, exactly what you're getting included in this particular collection. Here they all are. So six different designs in here for you. The butterflies that you've just seen Debbie using. Two different florals here. So you've got your flourishing flowers and also your spring blooms. Then you've got your interlocking circles. You also have your entwined hearts and your interlocking squares as well. Debbie has got her hands on her concepts, I am pleased to report. Because we talk about the slimline um, feature, but take a look at this. This is what you can be doing with yours, so you can extend this pattern onto the front of a larger card if that's what you wanted to do. Um, of course, you can go and use it as a, an easel card as well. So the cutout factor there is those beautiful entwined circles, which just, again, create something really spectacular with the aperture. Um, and there's lots and lots of ways that you can use them. Double Z fold cards, I love this one. When we launched these, Joe, I, I think it was Ben that I launched them with. Was it Ben or was it you was where ben. we said it looks like a... Um, like yeah short circuit we were, we were saying it had such a lovely you know lots of different ways that you could use them a little rabbit i keep seeing two eyes there with the little ears that's what i see two eyes uh, oh yeah 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 they, we had so much fun on that launch loan show um take it on to the very end of your card stock and again you can see with the um inter locking Ooh, can you imagine just, with a, just a bit of red glitter behind there debbie wouldn't that bit look of red would look fabulous yeah um you don't want to know what ben called them um, ben called them um, into something else what did he call them oh yeah ben know. yeah ben yeah exactly we did um we did um um uh, uh, <laughs> Fold back card, <laughs> fold back card. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't remember the name of it. I'm sorry, I just completely lost track of what that was. Fold back card. You were thinking about what Ben had said, weren't you? I was, yeah, I was. Uh, I've got one of the inside panels on the inside of the card, what opens up. Um, oh, where's my favourite one? Oh, here it is. My favourite one, which we did a craft along quite recently. We with did, this didn't one. we? Yeah, you was with me because I did guess it, didn't what? I? You did it as well, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me bring that over there. There you go. Perfect. You can be making extremely big cards, uh, actually, that fold up really nice and flat as well, so you can get it into your DL uh, size again. But absolutely fabulous. Shaker cards, um, streamlined slim cards. Oh, honestly, Joe, it goes on and on and on and on. There are just so many ways that you can use these. You think of that slimline concept, beautiful, if that's what you want to create. But for me, it's got to do something much more than one thing. And that's exactly what you get. Look how much I've got there. Exactly what you get. All the different concepts that you can, you can create with your fabulous slimline cutting emboss folders. Absolutely blooming glorious, aren't they? Some of you a bit of confusion over the tags. Uh, there was another set. There was a different bundle of the tags which had some ribbons with it. It has sold out. But don't panic. 
the one, uh, the tags are still in stock. So I'll just give you the details of this particular collection again, just to be clear about what is in stock. So the, the bundle where you get the two sets of the tags and the two um, vellums still in stock, 1797, 2385. There was a bundle that included some ribbons that is out of stock, but you will find this on the Shop the Show page. There's a few questions about that in the comments. Now, we had a really recent uh, Creative Expressions launch, and it's still in, available for you. And we're going to have a look firstly at our floral animals collection here. This is fantastic. I love this beetle. I think there's something so cool about that. It is in the detail yeah, in that. Absolutely glorious. Detailed in that. Uh, are absolutely awesome. You've then got Follow Your Dreams as well, which is that one there. Really beautiful. Like a hummingbird, but in the florals, which I think is beautiful. The next one you have here is the orchids in bloom as you can see just there uh, again those gorgeous gorgeous orchids uh, this one here is the dragonfly delight which is lovely then we've got the floral bubbles <gasps> look at that i didn't see the fish in there before oh is it gorgeous really really absolutely awesome absolutely gorgeous butterfly blooms is what you're looking at just here very subtle aren't they these the animal uh, element of them very very subtle which i think is gorgeous and then you've got hello my friend uh, so many different elements within that one uh, right there which is brilliant these are actually just to go back to the last one they are actually quite a bit larger the stamps here than the picture on the front they are actually full size so they're a really nice really nice big stamp on there so that's your floral animals then we're going to move into your uh, next collection which is this one here it's the i'll just change those detail for you it's a vintage botanical so really lovely big rubber stamps in here they are the full size of the packaging again i will say so this one here is your um that's your wildflowers then you also have your french script wee wee then you've there got this one here which is your butterfly walk just again to show you they are much bigger the stamps inside than the packaging appears to show them then we also have this one here this is your nature finds which is awesome then we also have love this one the dates from the past this is goes so well with something like your vintage diary collection mm. i think that's beautiful do you know like your precious memory albums and all yeah. those kind of things yeah yeah your, your album spines those kind of things that you want to fill up those dates, these are going to look absolutely beautiful. Really lovely. Scrapbook's going to look brilliant as well. Yeah. Some really lovely nesting dies here, which are your shabby basics. I've been called shabby basic before, Debbie. Uh, this <laughs> is your tattered tags that you've got. Again, really nice big size on those. Then you've also got your cheesecloth, which is that one just there. Loads and loads of texture in those. And last but by no means least, you've also got your rustic honeycomb as well. And again, you can see really lovely design there on those. 79.83, 117.23, if you want to get your hands on those. Right, stains. Not the place in Middlesex is where we're going next. It is these beautiful, uh, these beautiful uh, botanical stains, which you've got just here. That's avocado uh, we are looking at. Avocado pink. Mm-hmm. I thought avocados were green. <laughs> Apparently, you can get pink avocados. Get pink Every avocados. day is a school day, Debbie. Hibiscus is this one that we've got just here. Really lovely colour there. This one here is your carrot top green. This is the most popular one at the moment. Uh, then we've also got here your blackberry, which is that one there. And we also then have blueberry. Oh, they sound delicious, these flavours, don't they? Coffee beans. And you've also got your tea leaves as well, which is that one just there. They're sort of organic coloured stains, so water-based dye ink, uh, inspired by colours derived from the natural dyeing process of various plants to give you an authentic botanical stained look. Mm, Suitable for a range of crafting techniques, uh, can be used on any surface such as card, canvas, fabric and more. And it comes with a fitted pipette as well, so it's great for mixing the colours and for dropping colours straight onto a palette or artwork uh, for a range of different crafting projects. I thought you were still looking at that and you just thought that that was incredible superior product knowledge I had then. But turns out we've smashed that fourth wall, Debbie. I was just reading it off the bottle. <laughs> George with a joystick, you know, he's, uh, he's let me down there. He really. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, if you want to go for those four pounds or five ninety nine individually, those. When were these on? If people wanted to go back and have another look at those, Georgina. <coughs> Wednesday the 27th of October, launch day with a lovely Jan. She's a lovely section on those. If you want to know more about them, then of course you can. Now we're going to have a little look ahead, Debbie, aren't we, to another preview. Oh gosh, yeah, because we did say we got tons of previews that we needed to show you. Now this is launching on Thursday, which is the... Fourth. 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 Thank you very much. Thursday, the 4th of November at 3 p.m. UK time. And this is absolutely fabulous. This is the latest, the next installment of the year of the crafts. So if you have been avidly, 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 avidly collecting the entirety of the uh, year of crafts from the initial box all the way through from one all the way up to next edition, which is this fabulous one. It's all about let's party i feel like i'm in a bit of a party party and what i love and this party and what exactly but you know the lovely thing about this box is uh, that it is full of everything that you can use with the year of crafts and all the other editions but it's a standalone box as well so if you're brand new to the uh, year of the crafts this is all about the let's party sections and i'm going to show you some amazing samples in a moment but it does mean that if you're brand new and you haven't got any of the others you are okay because you're going to be able to make okay. everything out of there and create the most gorgeous samples can i show you a few can i show you a few go for it debbie go oh, let's it. go let's go because i was i was tempted to open the box but i might get into trouble so um, i'm just thinking perhaps maybe not open the box uh, but take a look at some of the beautiful things that you are going to be able to create with everything that you have from masculine makes to party oh oh i love that one that is absolutely glorious oh, wait till you see this oh oh yes God, Pop the champagne corks, gorgeous. Debbie. Yes, I love that. Uh, again, some really clever techniques. Does that say love? That says love, love. <laughs> what did you think it said? Lover. Lover. I thought it said lover. <gasps> no. I need to go get my ice tested, Joe. I thought that said something else. Uh, but again, oh, gosh, look at this one. Oh, my days. That is absolutely beautiful. <gasps> look at the samples on these. These are absolutely stunning and everything that's been made in there comes out of here. This fabulous brand new box and I can't believe it's launching on the 4th of November and how excited. I think Debbie Fisher is going to be, I believe, or is it Jan? Actually, it could be Jan. Oh, I, I can't remember. Do you know? Isn't it terrible when you can't remember where everybody is? Uh, but there's also going to be some additional things that you can get hold of which are some matching papers and you'll have some of those already in here but if you want longevity with your year of crafts then this is going to be the let's party collection solids and the matching papers can i give you a little flake can I, oh flick the pattern one debbie flick the pattern one let's just go thank you very much producer georgina oh it is indeed debbie fisher on thursday look how incredible these patterned papers are again i know debbie's is going to be super excited with a couple of launches that she's got i better go and put them back joe before i get into trouble I'll oh yes sure you best go pick them back so that is launching for you on the fourth uh, i better share with you another launch hadn't i uh, these amazing border dies are coming up for you so gosh we have so many launches coming up at the moment these are absolutely be uh, beautiful you've got elegant daisy chains in this particular case. these are on the 7th of november you're going to be seeing these so you've got the elegant daisy chains which are these ones here you will also have in here the moroccan trace love that one this is your delicate hearts there uh, and also eastern trellis for you uh, as well so do grab those they'll be launching on the 7th Seventh is Sunday, isn't it? The seventh. Uh, the Who's seventh. Got this one. The Sunday. Who? Me. Oh. Me. So I'm going to be. At, I'm going to be here tomorrow, and then going down to Crit and Craft Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I'm coming back up here because if you want to miss this one, oh, I love these dies. Build a border or create a border. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me just tell you, so many different ways that you're going to be able to create not just one border, but the way that these are working means that you're going to be able to 
use these in so many beautiful ways, create them with so many different styles. And so, oh, oh, honestly, Joe, I am beyond excited to be doing the launch with these fantastic dies. Uh, snip into them, make them smaller, make them bigger, do whatever it is that you want. Double up, triple up, quadruple up. Do what you want with them. And honestly, I can't wait for this launch. I'm really, really excited for this one. So you'll need to join me on Sunday with these fabulous Creator Board Dies launch day, Sunday, the 6th of November at 3 p.m. Oh, 7th. 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 Sorry, 7th. Don't come on the 6th to launch them. You'll be a day no. early. You'll be too no. early. Yes, and I won't be able to anyway, Joe, because I'm going to be down at Crate and Craft, so I can't do 7th. Yeah. Sunday the, the 7th. 7th. I'll Sunday see you the 7th. there. Brilliant. Right, we must go back to uh, the layering panel dies. These are proving very, very busy this, this evening. Uh, 43.85 or 54.50 gets your hands on these ones right here. Uh, it gets you the four different brand new designs and a brand new concept as well. We only launched this just yesterday, so if you miss the show, um, then this is your chance to grab a hold of this. You get the cardstock in here included as well. I'll quickly show you the designs that you're getting in here. So you've got the elegant butterflies which are these ones just here. Uh, you also then have as well the entwining vines. Then you've got your uh, peacock feathers. And also, you've also got the perfect peonies here as well, which is fantastic. 43.85 or 54.50 if you want to get your hands on those. I do believe Debbie is gonna spoil us uh, with another demo on these. <laughs> Can't I keep you away know. from these, can we? I, I can't keep away from them. Um, I absolutely adore them, and I know you're loving them just as much because I can hear the excitement in the ear. Uh, now, I'm going to use that gorgeous butterfly panel. It is absolutely one of my favourite dies. <sighs> Big statement that we've launched in those recent times. The intricacy in this one is beautiful. The capabilities of what you can do with this is just amazing. The amount of things that you're gonna be able to do with this panel die is absolutely fabulous. I am going to cut it out again into some white stamping cards. I'm gonna hold it down with some low tack tape. We're gonna pop that through our plates. I am gonna cut another panel out as well in black, but I'm just for starters. Oh, Debbie, you didn't clean your mats. Dirty Debbie, honestly. Let's put that there for a second. Um, we're gonna just run this through as we would a normal thin metal die so again onto the white stamping card platform plastic shim oh now then where's my rubber oh there it is we'll do the magnetic one first our other cutting plate and let's just run that through there we go oh hang on a minute oh nearly joe nearly I keep saying i'm going to turn that panel around this machine around so that i can get hold of it in the right uh, way run that through let the machine do all the hard work for you one pass of the machine creates that beautiful die cut don't forget the extra detail the extra embossing makes a difference and that's why i would always say to you definitely definitely do this little piece so you're going to just remove the aperture part so again let's take that off We'll take off the tape because I don't need the tape now to hold the die into place. I'm going to take out the magnetic shim. I'm going to pop that on there. Rubber embossing mat over the top. Lastly, with the other cutting plate. And we're going to run that through as well. So nice and flush in the machine. Um, I've actually cut myself a couple of little panels out as well using that entwined vines. I, I just think it's absolutely beautiful, the entwining vines. Um, and I'm going to layer it up because that's it's what not you your, Is it your favourite though, or the feathers your favourite? Oh, you see, I said the feathers earlier, didn't I? But I'm, I'm sorry. The butterflies, I think, they always do it for me because I love a butterfly. Um, I've got a thing about butterflies. I've, I think I may have mentioned this once or twice before, Joe. Um, I love them. I know Michelle hates them. I love them. Um, but um, just absolutely gorgeous. Now, um, again, ju just using it very quickly, and I'm going to repeat one of the uh, colours. Oh, Debbie, where did you put it? Being so tidy. I've put it back. There we go. I'm going to go with Grasshopper again. It's the only one that I've got to hand. But again, I'm just going to go over that little foliage. foliage, uh, And again, just going over the leaves. It just makes a difference doing this, but I'll super speed this up, Joel. Amazing. Simply. I, I just think this is so excellent. We've got that added, you know, ability to be able to ink through these, which is amazing. Yeah, I love, honestly. You can do with most dyes, Joe. Um, nine times out of ten, the dyes that we do here, you're going to be able to do this technique with. It just picks up that little bit of ink without you having to do any, spend any time colouring it in. Uh, but I'm just going to release. Do you know, I have been to not back of here, but I know it won't last long. John's not here, though, is he? He's not here. Tracy's still here, though. Oops. 
I think I'd rather, I think Tracy's <laughs> way scarier than John. <laughs> I, I think if I was going to take either of them on, it would definitely be John over Tracy. She'd have me any day, honestly. Uh, I promise I'll behave. I will, I'll behave. But again, oh, this is just absolutely beautiful. Just going to poke out the little areas what I haven't quite covered. Uh, think. Yep. Think that's all. Now, I did this technique yesterday, but I'm not going to apologise for doing this again because I adore this technique. Again, so easy, so effective. I'm going to bring in a bit of scrap paper for this one, Joe. Well, I say a scrap paper. What's my wake-up call doing there? Uh, but I'm going to lift this up. And I'm going to change my colour because I do... I, I stand away from the pink and the purple, Debbie. Bring in some really gorgeous colours. Orange and lemon tonic, Joe. Now we're talking. Let's get... Uh-oh. I forgot about that. I forgot about the uh, lemon tonic um, disaster. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, yeah, it's be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, and I'm going to go in and just touch up the ends like so. And again, it's worth doing this, Joe. I really, really, really adore doing this technique. Um, and again, it's just so vivid and so bright, but beautifully done. Uh, and it's worth as well. I said this the other day. It's worth just doing this little extra detail, especially on these butterflies, because it really does make them pop off that page and it gives it a real vibrancy as well instead of it being plain cardstock it literally transforms it so i'm going to repeat that joe i don't know if you want to be um reading some comments while i oh, just carry I'd on love to everyone's having a right old little chitter chatter um hey. right avocado fat coming in from k for you she says joe we have an avocado tree in california the other day i was gathering some avocados and i noticed a pink area on the other on the end of one i was flabbergasted but not I mean, she obviously wasn't quite flabberwhelmed just flabbergasted <laughs> said i had i hadn't even heard of that before but i guess this is a pink avocado color there you are. Terry sent in a picture of her sewing project. Oh, brilliant. Let's hope we get it. pictures. Um, Bev Yay. says, so many awesome paper pads these days. There really are. Um, Joe, we love you, but Debbie, bring the box back, is what uh, Leslie says. Uh, she <laughs> says, I see a memory book with those gorgeous borders as well. Uh, Hadassah's loving all the launches that are coming up. Bev says, holy moly, wowzers, trousers, those dyes. Mm. Uh, absolutely, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Dieta's loving the butterflies. Uh, and Yolanda is putting putting these on their wish list as well. So absolutely, get them on the wish list. Um, very, very busy on this uh, now as we move through. Uh, they were very busy yesterday. I think for me, Debbie, yep. it's the amount of different concepts that these will lend themselves to, which is what makes them amazing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, such versatility. Yeah, absolutely. Have you got those black and white concepts again? Oh, yeah. Run, Shall we while look I'm at just them? Yeah, while I'm just thinking this up, Joe, because this look, you've seen me do this. I just want to finish it off, so all the way around. So while I'm doing that, you could be showing those You finish that off, concepts. Debbie, and I'll quickly share Perfect. this uh, with you. So you can see here, double fold back, which I think is awesome. Uh, this one here I love as well. The great thing about these is I love the demos yesterday you did, Debbie, where you cut the you cut it and then re uh, sort of inlaid it back in. Yeah. It was really awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. Like has been done there with those incredible um, with those incredible butterflies. Uh, you've got the box here as well. Uh, you've got that beautiful dome fronted card there, which I know you're going to love. What else we've got? Oh, another dome fronted one, but with acetate uh, this time as well. Uh, then we have got this one just here, which is that Z fold there, uh, as oh, you can see, which is just that. gorgeous. Absolutely love that one, Joe. This one here is your tent fold with the acetate, which is looking lovely. Um, then you've got your peonies there too which is brilliant. I'm going to show you. I don't know if I should show you the light up box or I should just put, dress myself up in the lights. It's very difficult to decide. I think I definitely need some sort of outfit, Debbie, that has this round the front of it. Look, how amazing this would be. Imagine the Easter bonnet you could make with these. Look at this. How fabulous. Love a good light Love up. it. Oh, I don't, that's not... Oh. Oh, Joe. <laughs> oh, Joe. There we go. What are That's you not like? what they're designed for. Don't use them like that, is what I must say. Disclaimer. Uh, here, let me show you. Let me pop this into the uh, box here. 
I didn't realise how fine and light these and little battery LEDs are these days, Debbie. Yeah, and they're, they're not so as, like, cool. They're, they're very inexpensive. They're not are they? As, yeah, they're not as um, you know, they're not as expensive as they used to be. They're very inexpensive. So yeah, and and of course you can get those little um, candle lights that you pop in there. The fake ones. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, again, side steppers with these, amazing. Uh, there's just so many that have been done. I do love these. I've seen quite a lot of these recently, and they never fail to have me flabberwhelmed. It's these <laughs> uh, beautiful illusion easels that you've got here. Uh, you've then got your twisted easel, which is that one just there. You've then got this one here, which is fabulous, which is uh, your, again, another illusion easel with no uh, acetate this time. My gosh, there's so many of them. And then this one here, which is like a reverse easel which is quite fabulous, and then cut into the die and use it as a stopper. I mean, that is a, how many concepts is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, oh, and I've missed one, fifteen different concepts when it comes to those, Debbie. That's just some of them, Joe. That's just That's some of them. some of them, absolutely. It is, you know... Amazing, really amazing. Uh, talking of amazing, I finished all my inking up, so I've actually used a little bit of fuchsia just onto my florals. You can see the green coming through there, what we did through the dye, so they've got the green, and again, literally elevates it because of the fact that you've embossed it. Uh, but um, again, all I'm gonna do, in fact, let me bring in my card base, because I've taken some of the, um, actually, which paper pad it's under here, let me find it. It's called Garden of Love. But I want to just elevate it a little bit more. So I'm going to cut out. Yeah, I said I was going to use the vines, but because uh, you can actually place the vines underneath. If I just show you for a second, you could add, literally add a little bit of layering. Oh, look at that, Joe. That looks beautiful. I might actually cut that out into, mm, yes. Oh, no, I'll stick to my original plan. I'll stick to my original plan. I'm going to go back in with the black cardstock and I'm going to cut myself another panel. I'll save my vines for another time. Oh, I've chucked them on the floor, Joe. I've chucked them on the floor. Is it nearly on time? I'm, um, uh, I'm, I'm 25 throwing, minutes, Debbie, 25 I'm minutes. I'm literally throwing things around absolutely everywhere and I'm not meaning to, uh, but I just want to finish this off with... Oh, where's my low tack tape? There we go. Amazing. Absolutely. So bring back in my panels. I'm going to create a little bit of a shop, drop, shop, drop, drop, shadow effect is the word I am looking for. Apparently my shirt perfectly matches the concept suite, uh, yes, Mandy was does. saying. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm like a work, a working, <coughs> oh gosh, uh, a walking concept suite. I'll tell you what, Debbie, I think, <laughs> I think it's catching now. I think it it's really catching. is. Uh, what type of ink works best for this technique, Ro would like to know? Water reactive. There you go. Whoops. I didn't know you were coming to me, George of a joystick. Gorgeous, George of a joystick. Telling me off, um, not saying. You're not saying it yourself now. Yes, I know. <laughs> Um, that's because I was a bit cross with him for not telling me. Uh, <laughs> I'm never cross with George. Can, I could never get cross with George. He's just the most adorable man. Um, but seriously, he is. And now he's a Yorkshire man. He's even more adorable. <laughs> now he's young. Uh, yeah, did keep that from me, George. Yes, you did. I didn't realise Did you not realise how young George was? Uh, uh, is that what you're saying? I'm confused. Young? young? How old are you, George? George. Oh, Yorkshire, uh, sorry. Now he's asked me, I didn't really know your age. I've never really asked you, George. <coughs> he's 30 oh, years old, I thought old, you were younger George. than that, George. He's a baby. I thought George was younger than that, I must say. Oh, George, oh my gosh, this is so sad. Gorgeous, gorgeous George of the joystick could be my son. Because my eldest daughter, well, oh, best not say it out loud because she'll go by me, but she's 30 next. I would say Georgina is under 30. Georgina's definitely under 30. Yeah, yeah she's definitely under 30. Um... She's Should we go 27, 28? Uh, I'm going to 25, I'm going conservative. Oh. Yeah. 31! Oh! Well, there I never... Are. Well, I, I... Oh, really? Look at me, I'm just... Some reason, I'm just dancing in the box for some reason. You I was going for the tea, and then I realised I was in the box, so I came back. And then I thought, oh, sh I'm just going for the tea anyway, Debbie. <laughs> you go and get your tea, I'm just poking out all my little bits. Uh, there we go. I'm, and literally, all this is going to do is create a little bit, because I love the idea of the layering 
um, element to this. And like I said, you could actually mix up um, your dyes. So you could actually put that lovely vines behind there. Uh, but this is going to literally, oops, wrong way around, Debbie. Uh, this is literally going to just give it that little bit of a drop shadow effect. So I'm going to pop on the top again. I'm going to use my dotty tape pen for this, Joe. Let's go down here. And I'm, I'm not worried about these butterflies lifting up. So I'm just literally slapping me um, on there. But I am lifting these um, elements up. So I'm just going to nice. pick up my little wings while um, I pop that on. Oh, gosh, honestly, these dyes are just stunning. I, I, I tell you, I, it's not often that I um, say, well, I do, because I'm like a kid in a candy shop every time we release something. Uh, but this dye, this panel dye, there's just something about this one, Joe, that really, Ooh, this is nice, literally Debbie. looks absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm just going to give it that teary witty little bit of a drop shadow, and it really does create a lovely effect where you can see, can you see that? Look how gorgeous that looks. I'm going to go around my butterfly wings because I want these wings to lift up. You could add things like your gems and things like that. However, I'm going to stay away from the gems. Shock, horror, surprise. Flabber is a gastard, even by myself. Because, uh, Are you flabberwhelmed flabber or just flabbergasted? yeah, absolutely. It's a real word, apparently. Uh, you are kidding me. It's an actual me. real word. You are kidding me. You no. two have made it up. You two little Haven't. monkeys when you were on wake-up call this morning. I googled you... flabber, flabber is gasted. Yes. Flabbergasted even. I can't even say it normally now. Because uh, I, I wanted to Google the meaning. And it's from like the eight, late 1800s. And it's a, <gasps> uh, a mixture of the words flabber and aghast. And it means someone getting all dressed up, apparently, and going to like a bit of a posh do, either down the local tavern or to a wedding, Debbie. Um, did Becky teach you that, Joe? No, I Googled it. Oh, I thought Becky, because Becky's such a very knowledgeable young she is. lady. She really is. Very studious, are Becky. Extremely talented crafter, extremely talented presenter. As are you, Joe. As are you. Just right, got thanks, that bit in there. Um, but yes, uh, and very, very well... Um, uh, She's very well read, isn't she? Well read, well educated, yes. She's absolutely fabulous. Love Becky. I never got to say bye bye. Just like us too, Debbie. Of course, of course, Joe. Of course we are. Uh, now, I'm just going to simply pop that. Ooh. Oh, look at that Garden of Love part. Oh, I'm a little bit in love. Little bit in love. Nice. Uh, so I'm just going to pop down now a little bit of glue. Because I've got my little wings stuck up, I'm just going to transfer it now over to uh, a little bit of um, tacky glue. Uh, and I'm just going to pop it onto my black areas, like so. Oh, honestly, you are going to love these dyes. Um, they are really beautiful dyes. And they are so intricate. The panel part of it is the intricate part. And it, oh, just is absolutely beautiful. And simply by adding the um, black into that background has just given it that little elevation and laid it up. And I'm just going to stick that down where I need to stick it. But again, look how gorgeous that looks. And apart from adding a sentiment, Joe, and I think I'll add that on later because I've just realised and seen the time and we've still got some more things to show. <gasps> oh! Nice. Oof, oof, I love the oof. honestly just beautiful. Absolutely I think we may have found gorgeous. the card of the show and the day, Debbie. Well, you don't know, Joel. We keep saying that, and we, we've got we've got it wrong all week up to now. All week. If we like it, only on Tuesday. If we like it, it doesn't get through. Is what seems to happen at the moment, that, isn't it? That Let me the recap case. the four designs then that you're getting here in this particular collection. Uh, so you're going to get those beautiful butterflies, which are these ones just here, the elegant butterflies. Uh, you've also got your entwining vines. You will receive those wonderful peacock feathers and also the perfect peonies in there as well. 43.85 or 54.50. If you want to get your hands on those, and you're going to get in the card stock and a great saving there for you as well. Going to have to take you back to the tags, that brand new launch for you uh, that we looked at today in this show. Just make some gorgeous little tags these two different sets here for you if you're looking for something that's not going to break the bank but it's going to enable you to make something gorgeous then this is that two different styles there let me take you through the dyes and stamps that you're getting included so you've got the winter forest scene which is this one just here and then you've also got your magic of christmas as well and a hundred sheets of the perfectly sized vellum as well with the ice blue and the white half the stock 
Well, it has now gone here uh, on these, so you will need to be quick for those ones. Right, pictures. You guys have sent pictures in, which we love. Let's share those with you. Uh, Pammy says, gorgeous, Debbie, of uh, that last collection. Stacey sent this one in. Oh, I love this, Debbie. Oh, that is beautiful. Really card. lovely, isn't it? I love the use of the craft card there. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Really, really lovely. Uh, Elaine sent this one in. Oh, 90th birthday. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is beautiful, Elaine. Look, really oh, gosh, gorgeous. 90. That. Wow, special birthday time, special birthday time. Absolutely. Amanda's husband is perfect, according to this next card. To oh, my perfect, perfect husband. husband. Oh, is there an inside oh, bit? Oh, 17 years they've been married. Oh, we can see the inside as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. That Again, is beautiful. Look at that beautiful die cut. Absolutely beautiful. Really lovely. Rebecca has sent this next one into us as well. Gingerbread kisses and holiday wishes. Oh, again, look nice. at that. Oh, is that a little tag I see? It is. Is been, that a little tag I can see there? Been very busy with these as well. Look at those. Beautiful. Lovely colouring. Love the use of like the white gel pen on there. Looks really awesome. And more. I tell you what, Rebecca. Oh my God, you're Rebecca loves the my tag. Own heart. Yep. Tag heaven is what we're looking <laughs> at uh, right there. So do. Uh, thanks so much for sending those in. And Terry Anderson sent this one in as well. Let's have a look. What's this? Oh, paper pig poncho. Uh, so making a poncho, because oh. it's safer to have ponchos on. Oh my God, that's beautiful, Terry. Instead of coats in cars, apparently. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that. Okie doke. <laughs> right. We are going to just take a moment, give you an opportunity to check out your baskets, regroup as well. Uh, so whilst we do that, then we'll come back and do the card of the show. Here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. All right, I think it's time, Debbie, don't you, that we get the card of the show underway. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, gosh, I can't remember where I started. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I think Are I you started right? with the, car, the Christmas tag. Yes, I did. Started with the Christmas tag. Number one. Good old Christmas. Oh, hang on a minute. 
good old Christmas tags uh, would be absolutely beautiful. I love them. I'm not surprised that they're doing really, really well. Number two was the gorgeous peacock feathers. So number two. Number three was the slimline cut and emboss folder. And then number four is a beautiful butterflies. Amazing. Uh, really good. I mean, I don't envy you. It's going to be a very hard task uh, for you to um, select one of those. But you can do so. Get your votes in. Crafters TV over on Facebook. Crafters Companion uh, across on YouTube. Right. Uh, we are going to have a little look at some hunky-dory items. Sorry, I've got me such, it's such a big collection, this next it's one. I mean, huge. such a kerfuzzle. Uh, kerfuzzle, is that even a... Is that even a word? Yeah, it is now, Joe. A kerfuffle? I don't know. Uh, so, um, let's go through this then. So, let's have a little look first. It's your moonlight moments we're going to take you through. So, these go together, uh, which is wonderful. So, what you've got here, uh, you'll get an inspiration sheet, of course, every single time, uh, as you always do. Uh, and then what you're going to get, of course, is your eight sheets of die cut foiled and die cut topper sheets uh, which are these ones here so you can see all of these gorgeous die cut toppers the brilliant thing as well is hunky joy they really pack these pages full of so many uh, different elements which is absolutely brilliant so you can see these uh, here which is fantastic and then what you've got is eight sheets of your printed cardstock and eight sheets of your foiled and printed cardstock which is absolutely awesome. So you're going to get, I love the colour tones in here. I think they are absolutely stunning. So that's those. That's your topper collection. Then what you've got is you've got this little selection, which is glorious. And this is your um, Moonlit Moments Fabulous Finishes Acetate Frame and Concept Card. So what you've got is all of these awesome framed uh, toppers here. Really nice, big, sort of deco large style. And then what you've got are the card blanks which go with them. Now, they're like a ribbon threading technique that goes on in here, which is wonderful. And you've got the ribbons there that go with those. So you get all of those as well. I know, honestly. And you can see here, you get the inspo sheet as well to show you exactly how they come together and go together. So you get that lovely, almost like a plaited kind of um, ribbon up the side with your toppers in there as well. Get the envelopes included that go with those too, which is amazing. Can't believe you get all this, 38.96 or uh, 56.59. And then what you've got are all of your inserts as well, which are going to perfectly uh, match all of that too, which is amazing. Uh, then what you've got is your moonlit moments in here as well. I can tell you, Debbie, number four is your demo of the show. Number four. Last one, the well, your last one. The butterfly. So right. I'll um, I'll hold it up. You do the others as well. Should we, we can do, do that? Right, okay. I'll get, get this that one over here. Way before we do the next. So uh, butterflies, bit. right? Yep, so absolutely. you can either go. You got options. Right. You can go for card of the day number one. Oh, that's beautiful. Or from the lovely Becky, wake up call. Or number two uh, with the lovely Debbie here, which was that. One with the little tag there, which is fantastic. Yep. Or yep. you can go for number three, which is number three, the one that the Debbie's got over there. There you go. One, two or three. You decide. Uh, get voting now. Absolutely. Get your votes in. Right, do you think we've got time to squeeze a quick demo in this, Debbie? Well, I was just going to show you a few quick samples. Amazing. And then a quick demo because I love these. And again, showing you how quick and easy these cards are. Absolutely beautiful. This is that gorgeous... Um, uh, oh, gosh, the country. Do you know it's escaping me? The country... Country, the beautiful scenes, I'm just going to say, absolutely gorgeous scenes. If you love to make male orientated cards or you just love your traditional um, style of cards, these kits are right up your street. The beautiful Miri Magic is um, absolutely phenomenal and um, something that Unky Dory specialise in. Uh, my favourite, the Golden Age of Glamour. Look at these fantastic samples. I'm going to quickly flick through to show you the kind of things that you can make with these utterly fabulous beautiful designs from the most wonderful company of Unky Dory and again really really easy and again I've just I'll show you the moonlit ones and then I'm going to take you my take on the moonlit take a look at these these are phenomenal uh, right way around Debbie absolutely beautiful gorgeous colorways on this one uh, lots of different styles that you can be creating and again 
you're going to make a ton of cards out of whichever collection you go for. Now, I've chosen to make uh, using one of the elements from the Moonlit. So I've taken one of the Tropical Delights, which is, I just love this little hummingbird. Absolutely beautiful. There's a hummingbird on there. There's an happy birthday. Lots of different areas. Strips. You've got uh, little embellishments. You've got some sentiments on there. So I'm going to be using that one. I've taken a sheet out of the Moonlit Moments, which is the six by six paper pad. Just absolutely colorways on this. <gasps> stunning, absolutely stunning. So, and I've taken one of the inserts and I am gonna use that hummingbird one because I do love this, Joe. So, I've taken a piece of cardstock. Now I'm gonna make one of these uh, really untrendy cards at the moment, uh, which is the diamond points one. Do you know the crisscross point one? I think I've seen one of our lovely guests um, on Craft Factor do this one. Uh, so I've taken a piece of cardstock, six by six. I've chopped down a little bit of that. I mean, this literally is the most divine paper and it's such a shame to cover it up, but we are going to cover it up because we're going to use the other side. Let's see. Oh, please don't dry up. Oh, Debbie, you've closed it. What are you like? Oh, you can tell we're nearly at the end, Joe. Oh, you can tell that this is just beautiful. So I'm going to use that as my base for underneath the car. I love that. that it looks like he's got a little sort of... He looks like a plane flying through the sky, oh, doesn't he? Honestly, got a little trail behind it's him. It's just absolutely stunning, Joe. Now, on this one, this is six by six. This one is six by seven with an inch fold. Then I've marked it at the halfway point and I've simply taken it onto my um, uh, guillotine and snipped off this end and snipped off this end so that it looks like this. OK, so that bit there is going to sit in the centre. However, I did say I was going to use the cardstock, that beautiful paper pad. And I've simply done it again where I've trimmed it down to a quarter of an inch increment and popped that on. So that's going to sit on the um, front panel as such. Now, you're going to make a ton of cards. I, I, we absolutely loved the launch, me and Ben, on Saturday with this. Michelle's, I've done a little take on hers as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but do you know the waste bits from me side of my cards, Joe? We're going to use these um, to simply create a little bit of a diamond point. But before I do that, I am going to just attach this to the back of my card, like so. How are we doing for time, guys? Oh, we've got five faster. minutes. We've got all the time in the world, Debbie. Oh, perfect. Oh, I think we perfect. can get another demo in after this. Well, actually, do you know because of Uncle Dory? Absolutely, you would. Probably I good. mean, look at that. That looks gorgeous in itself. Just going to give that a little... It's a double little, boom wow. A double what? Double boom wow. Double boom wow. Mm. What a great... Um, what a great one that is, Joe. Now, to create these, this is what you do with your panels. And literally, you're using the waste to create the point back onto your Ooh. card look how gorgeous that is pam craven did one of these cards when yeah she came in for our card honestly packs, didn't it's she? a real on-trend card at the moment uh, and a real fabulous one Check and you again out, trendy wendy trendy wendy i know actually i've been doing you know i love these cards um, i made one recently for a friend for a birthday um get me making cards for birthdays um but absolutely beautiful i do you know i've had so much fun as well i did a, a lovely 80th birthday card Ooh, for nice. a, a family well one of my family members um because they were going to a party and i played with the winter white collection oh Oh, my days. I had so much fun playing with that one. Uh, but this is, you know, these kind of things are ones that you can make and adapt to any of the card trends, Joe. So, again, all I'm going to do is place that on and literally you just turn it in on itself like so. Obviously, you would let glue dry, but uh, we are speeding up the crafting technique here. So, we're going to go in one side. We're going to go in the other side. So, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue just on that side to create this beautiful point and then we're going to bring in that beautiful hummingbird collection and you get you've got your frames on here you've got your sentiments on here you simply pop those out and i think oh gosh that looks lovely i'm going to use that one um let's pop in just a couple of um pads just onto the top and the bottom and if you were doing this at home you'd probably take a little bit more time and perhaps perhaps you know, add a few more to just stabilise it. But time is of the essence, Joe. Time is of the essence. And I did want to get this demo in. Uh, so again, oh, come on, phone pads. Don't let me down now. Don't let me down. How many minutes, George? Woo! We will get it done. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. You have little faith. We will get that done. So again, pop that on into the centre again. And then simply add a little 
lots of love we'll go with that one and we're going to add that on to there and there you go very quick easy card lovely concept card Oh, Amazing! We did it, Joe. We did it. Absolutely wow. smash it out of the park, Debbie. Yes, yes. Uh, nailed it. Thirty-eight ninety-six, fifty-six fifty-nine. If you want to get a hold of all of those uh, gorgeous um, elements, so so much within that collection for you. This one here is uh, I want to go back to those amazing tags that we showed you before you guys are absolutely uh, loving these and I can see why they do make these most adorable little tags you get all the stamps and dies in here and then you are also getting as well uh, the incredible um, vellum too which is brilliant so you've got that in there so this one here is your uh, magic of Christmas uh, which is amazing uh, you've got the dancing reindeer there and you've got your stamps as well uh, and this one here is of course for uh, this one here is your winter forest scene uh, which is incredible so definitely uh, grab a hold of those Debbie yes what a day it's been I think you've earned a Bailey's tonight uh, yeah just a little <laughs> just a little uh, do you know what I've actually earned my bed I'm ready for bed I'm not kidding um, I just think I'm going to go back to the house and sleep until the morning where we're going to do it all over again and I can't wait I simply can't wait because we've got an exciting day lined up and a great guest joining us maybe you oh you said it and you're already Ian Davies Turn your face. it's going to be Ian Davies and I'm finally going to get to meet him so I can't wait Ian if you're watching more have a safe travel up here Absolutely. and we'll see you tomorrow I'll um, try not yeah. to call him David as I did the whole time he was here last oh, time oh bless you I know Ian I'm going to go home Ian Ian, oh, yes, did Ian, he the winner Ian. of the day? Uh, it's because his, his, his surname is Davis, you see, so that's why I was getting so very, very confused. Oh, bless uh, The card of the day, Debbie, was... I'm disappointed to say number two. Oh, the, 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 oh well, I'm not. I love the other messages. I love those. Yeah, so I just wanted it, to be, I wanted it to be the other one. Oh, bless you. I wanted you were after the butterflies again, weren't you? That's I what you number, wanted. I wanted number three, I did. <laughs> uh, right, uh, don't forget to check out your baskets. We'll see you back here tomorrow uh, for another full day, so make sure you join us. If you're in the US, enjoy the rest of your day. If you're here in the UK and Europe, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.